MPI family, let's talk about inflation. April 10th, CPI came out with some numbers that said that inflation was slightly higher than expected. It came out at 3.5% and they were looking for 3.4%. And the stock market didn't like it. It closed down that day on April 10th, 422 points. And a few of you called me and said, hey, Ryan, what's going on? This is something we got to be worried about. Well, let's talk about inflation and exactly what is CPI. The Consumer Price Index, or CPI, measures the monthly change in prices paid by U.S. consumers. The Bureau of Labor Statistics calculates the CPI as a weighted average of prices for a basket of goods and services representative of aggregate U.S. consumer spending. The CPI is one of the most popular measures of inflation. Also, a few of you have pointed out of how pricey fast food has gotten. Well, if you look into the data of CPI, you'll be able to see why. Check this out. Digging through the numbers, you'll find that the CPI data shows that eating out has increased year over year about 4.2%, while the price of groceries has only increased 1.2%. This is a direct result of wage and labor inflation. Fast food workers are demanding more money. Again, if they're going to be paid more money, then that price is going to be transferred over to you, the consumer, in terms of food prices. And what happens as a result? Check this guy out. This is $3 worth of food. This hash brown, which I think used to be two for a dollar, is three dollars worth of food. This, for reference, is a potato, which you can get four to five pounds of these for three dollars, four dollars. Something doesn't seem right here. I'm still going to eat it, but it's not right. And this wage and labor inflation that's been going on in fast food is not a new thing. Check this out. An analysis done by Finance Buzz found that McDonald's was one of 13 restaurants that have raised menu prices in the last decade by 60% on average between 2014 and 2024, or nearly double the cumulative national rate of inflation of 31% over that period. So what's the solution? Same thing as we talked about before. Remember that video I made, eggs and bacon? You see the price on this thing? Almost $25 for eggs and bacon? Eggs and bacon? $25? Come on, man. Well, same concept. As opposed to buying your burgers at the McDonald's or the Burger King or those expensive fast food places, go to the grocery store and make the food yourself. You'll be easier on your budget, and guess what? You'll be able to eat a whole lot healthier because you can control your calorie and your sodium intake. It's better health and wealth-wise. Don't be like this guy. Because y'all, uh-uh, y'all doing too much now. Y'all doing too much. Me and my wife this morning went to breakfast at McDonald's and got two sausage biscuit, no, two of the steak and bagel combos. It, we paid $20. $20. I tried to order an extra hash brown when I saw it was $2.19 for the extra. $2.19. McDonald's, y'all done got out of pocket. Y'all supposed to be dollar menu budget friendly. So there you have it, MPI family. That guy was pretty funny, wasn't he? Be on the lookout because I'm going to start doing more videos like this. I really enjoyed it. I'm also enjoying how you all are now starting to get engaged in the news. So I can start doing videos like this to show you exactly what these new headlines mean for your pocketbook. If you have any questions at all, send me a text, send me an email, set up some office hours. Talk to you soon. Peace.